Hello chess family, it's me National Master Jesse James or shall I say the Pumpkin King over here and today we're going over five spooky traps in the Halloween Gambit. Let's get to it. Here one of the first ones we're going to go over is what I like to call the Halloween Windmill. For those of you who don't know, a windmill is a tactic in chess where things keep repeating. So just like the windmill when it's just turning, this is going to happen here. So let's get to it. Here we go. We start up with e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6. Knight c3, knight f6, here we have the four knights opening, but here we go, trick or treat, we got the Halloween gambit with knight takes on e5. Of course, black takes, pawn to d4, knight c6, now this is not supposed to be the best move here, because as we'll see, white just gets to keep pushing these pawns forward. d5, the knight gets kicked, pawn f4, the knight gets kicked, knight g6, the pawn uh, kicks the knight again, and here the knight goes back to g8, believe it or not, the best move. And here is the great idea, here if you can play it in your games, you better do it, Pawn to d6. With this move, even though we are down a piece over here, you can see that this bishop cannot get out. Here black tries their best. Pawn takes, pawn takes. Queen over to f6, putting pressure on the pawn immediately. But here again, we have a very strong move of knight to b5. Here not only does the knight defend the pawn, but threatens knight c7 check, which is just a very strong move that, well, is really hard to stop. Black just goes ahead and accepts it and plays king over to d8. Bishop to e3, and this sets up a very nice move for a check, and unfortunately black falls forward in place, a6, uh-oh, now we get our beautiful windmill. Bishop to b6 check, king e8, and knight to c7 check, and we can just keep repeating here, and you can see in this game, or in this trap game, well, white just keeps taking all the, white, uh, all the black pieces. Here we go, knight takes rook check, king back, knight c7 check, king back to d8, again the discovery just keeps coming. Knight to d5 check, this time we're going to take the queen. Knight takes on f6, knight takes, and here the king is just so weak. Let's go ahead and checkmate him. Queen e2, pawn over to, uh, uh, bishop over to e7, and it's almost checkmate here if this knight wasn't here. So, simple chess, let's kick this knight. Pawn to f5, knight to f4, and here we go. We have checkmate over here on e7. All right, on to the next one. I like to call this the queen trap. This was a fun one when I was doing a little bit of research in this opening that, uh, well, you can win your opponent's queen. Here we go. E4, E5, knight f3, knight c6, knight c3, knight f6, the four knights opening. Trick or treat, here we come. Knight takes on e5, the Halloween gambit. Knight takes on e5, d4, let's get two pawns in the center. Knight back to c6, and as we said before, this is not the best. Let's kick him back. d5, knight e5, pawn to f4, knight to g6, e5. It looks like these pawns are just taking over the board as usual in this opening. The knight goes back to g8, and here white makes a very sensible move of bishop to c4. And here, this is where black starts to go astray. Black goes ahead and plays queen over to h4 check here. Now, this gets played by a lot of different people, even though this is not the best move. The queen coming out here too early actually just gets kicked away. And in this variation, well, she's just going to get trapped. Here we go. Pawn to g3 gets played. And here, well, black goes ahead and brings the queen over to h3. It makes sense here. They don't want to bring the queen back over to d8. This is where it started at. And, well, here we're going to be able to now trap the queen or at least win some material. Here, bishop f1 gets played, the queen goes to f5, and here is the beautiful move. It's white to move. What do you play here to win this beautiful queen? Here you get to play pawn to g4, and believe it or not, the queen is trapped. Uh-oh. Well, you might as well get something for it. Queen takes, bishop takes, knight takes, and as you can guess here, it's just going to be a simple game. All right, up to the next one. Here, one of my favorites. I like to call this one the Halloween king hunt because, well, I love hunting down a king, and in this one, we're going to hunt down the king in a very fashionable sense. Here we go. We start off with e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, knight c3, knight f6. We got the four knights. Knight takes on e5, knight takes on e5, d4, knight goes over to g6. Now, this is one of the best squares for the knight to retreat to. But even then, white still has some compensation because of all the pawns in the center. Here we go, e5, kick him back. Knight to g8, and here I like this move, h4. Simple idea, we're going to play h5, trying to kick the knight. So black goes ahead and plays, pawn to h5, trying to stop it. Well, one of the weakest squares when you're playing against this Halloween gambit is going to be the f7 square. So, bishop c4 gets played, attacking on f7. Black tries bishop to b4, and here we go, bishop g5. Look at these bishops, looking beautiful over here, cutting down the board. Bishop e7 back, uh-oh, just what I wanted. Now I can play queen to f3 here, and now f7 is not so simple to defend. Here the only way to try to get out of this is to play pawn to f6. 
All right, here we go. Now we get to jump on the diagonal. We have a really strong move. What do you play here? All right, if you guys haven't already, go ahead and give us a like and subscribe. Remember, liking this channel is going to share this with more chess players. So after this F6, this is not an X clan move. The next move is an X clan move. What do you play here? It's queen to d5, and now black is in serious trouble. There really is no good way to stop the queen to f7 checkmating idea. Here black really only has one move. Pawn to d6, now the king is trying to run away. Notice here that if the knight did try to go to h6, well this is just no bother. Bishop just takes here on h6. So we win a piece here, and we're still trying to checkmate. The rook would have to slide over to f8 here. Well, if d6 gets played, now this is where we get our king hunt. Here we go. Queen f7 check. King to d7. Pawn to e6 check. King over to c6. Pawn to d5 check. King over to b6. Knight a4 check. King to e5. Bishop over to d2. King takes. And here we get to finish the game off pretty fast. a3. Here we have just cut off all the squares here. And now it's threatening a simple checkmate that cannot be stopped. a5. And here we go. b3 for a checkmate. All right, guys, we're going on to one of my favorite games here. This one involves a brilliant queen sacrifice. Hope you're enjoying these games. Here we go. E4, E5, knight F3, knight C6, knight C3, knight F6. We got the four knights, and here we go. Trick or treat. Knight takes on E5 here. All right, knight takes back. Pawn to D4, knight to G6, and here we get to bully them as usual. E5 over here. These pawns just keep coming. And knight back to G8. Bishop over to c4. Remember I said f7 is the weakest square whenever black is playing against this Halloween gambit. So the idea is bishop c4, queen f3. This just helps develop the pieces, but also creates very strong threats. Here we go. c6 gets played. It's a move. It's not a very good one. The idea is to play d5, but for those of you guys who know it, we get to do our en passant move. So here we go. Queen f3. Black tried f6 here. Perfect. Here we don't have nothing to worry about. So let's just go ahead and keep getting out pieces and well maybe get our king to safety castles over here pawn to d6 of course they should not take uh oh it's checkmate so we're going to keep up the pressure here pawn to d6 gets played again all of this pressure on e5 here but this is perfect because well an open e file means attacking chances okay pawn takes on d6 now the e file is open over here Bishop takes on d6. Knight to e4. This was a very surprising move to me. I always think I'm going to play rook e1 check, but knight e4 sets up a brilliant queen sacrifice. Here we go. Knight to f6 gets played, and now it's white to move. Can you find the best move here? Feel free to push pause. This is just an amazing move. All right, if you haven't already, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> if you haven't already, go ahead and give the answer. Here the answer actually is queen takes on f6. An amazing move here. What happens if you take? Well, they did take in the game. Best was not to take, but even if you don't take, there's plenty of winning uh, there's plenty of winning chances here for white. So here they took the pawn and got checkmated in two moves. Did you find this move? Here it's knight takes on f6 check, king over to f8, and here bishop h6 for like a bolden looking checkmate pattern. Oh, this is definitely one of my favorite Halloween gambit uh, traps. All right, and our final one, I like to call this one the Pawn Parade. Basically, we let the pawns do the talking. As you guys have already seen, these pawns are just attacking and having a great time. So in this one, that's going to take the main idea. Here we go, e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, knight c3, knight f6, the four knights opening. And here we go, trick or treat. Knight takes on e5. Knight takes d4, knight to g6. e5 here, attacking the knight. Knight back to g8. Bishop over c4, following the main line, attack the f7 pawn. Knight h6, an interesting move here. Obviously, the knight can't go to its best square, so it goes to h6, but hey, um, I don't think the knight's uh, very good here. Bishop takes on h6, a free move. After pawn takes, now you see the dark squares are getting a little bit weak. All right, well, first things first. Let's get our king to safety. Castles. Queen over g5, and now let your pawns do the talking. g3, which covers the knight h4, knight f4 ideas. But the idea here, let's push forward. Here we go. Pawn to f4, queen back to e7, pawn to f5, the knight is just getting kicked around here. Knight back to f8, and now we just bring in our final pieces. Queen to h5, threatening a simple queen checkmate on f7. You can see that this pawn parade has gone uh, so, so well. And here, queen to e7, and now simple chess. Let's bring in reinforcements, and knight to d5. At this point, our opponent will just resign, as there's really no good threats, uh, ways to stop the threats of knight f6 check, and knight takes on c7, and knight takes on b4, and don't forget we are hitting that queen over here. So we got a very nice idea with this uh, knight move. 
Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this. We'll see you in the next video. <laughs>